inside your head. Be local, be local. I got an afro and I'm a white boy. Be local, be local. Pippin' old lady since 92. Be local, be local. Depression got me stressing, so I grabbed my Smith and Wesson. Be local, be local. Hey everyone out in podcast land, this is B-Level, this is our first podcast. I'm uh, Herman Adams. And I'm Eddie Fester. And we're here to, I don't know what we're here to do, we're just here to talk. We're here to wrestle your eardrums with fantastic stories. Facetiously. So, the uh, <laughs> maybe we should talk, okay, this is going to be like uh, our podcast, we're going to come on here and talk about shit, and it's going to fucking evolve into something. You know, either by something you want to hear or you don't want to hear. Yes. But that's why it's wonderful being in the uh, country of America where you can censor your own shit. If you don't like it, turn it off. Exactly. Or keep it on. So the craziest thing happened to me on the way over here. What happened? I saw this cat, right? A cat. It was white. So I was like, all right, well, I, you know, if it crosses my path, it's not a big deal. Were you driving or walking? I was walking. Walking, okay. Walking back to my house. So it turns out this cat... Was actually a fucking skunk. Ooh, ooh, a polecat. A pol. Oh, it is a polecat. Pole cat. And the fucking polecat sprayed at me. Do you know what I did? So it ran. I, I deflected it with my shield. You have a, you have a shield. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> what kind of shield was it? <laughs> it was a tough shield. Well, I'll tough tell you. Shield. It was an air uh, air stench proof shield. It was the air stench proof shield, and that shit mm. reflected right off and. Hit my neighbor I wish right I, in the face. I wish I had that thing whenever you go take a shit. Yep. Deflect your stench. Yep, you're the one that shits all the fucking times. <laughs> I, I just have a healthy bowel movement. <laughs> Regularly. You're very regular. <laughs> so. So. What's the real first topic? I was actually, I'm not going to lie, I, that didn't really happen. Oh, man. Yeah. I was painting that shit in my head. Like, when I see things, I see things like a cartoon. Yeah. So, like. I see you walking down the road, and you're like, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> and there's like a cat that walks across, and yep. Then the know. shield comes out. Well, no, then well, I'm like, then you realize and... the cat, the cat was a skunk. You're like, ah! So then you know, it, you you got scared, so you scared it. It lifted its tail, it sprayed at you. You pulled a shield out of your ass or something. Yep, exactly. That's, but it that's fucking impressive. But it didn't happen though. <laughs> is what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, no, in was, my mind, it did. I was kidding. So, what's the first topic here? Uh, I think the first thing we're going to have to talk about is going to be uh, some Bigfoot. Oh, the Bigfoot. The elusive Bigfoot. The elusive Bigfoot. Bigfoot stick structures, if you've ever heard of them. Yeah, it's those things they live in. They build them. It's least. like a house, sort of, but not but It's really. not at all. No. So, uh, Sasquatches. Very, very poor insulation. Very poor insulation. <laughs> so, Sasquatches, are they real or are they not real? Well... Turns out I know for a fucking fact. Oh, really? I do, I do, I How do. do you know? Friends, great friends with a bunch of scientists. <laughs> <laughs> so these scientists tell me, they're like, hey, Eddie, guess what? Sasquatches, fucking real, have been real the whole fucking time. And what evidence do they have to prove this? They don't have any. They're smart. They bury their bones. No, I mean the scientist. Because they just, they're scientists. They did fucking they just tests know. under microscopes and shit. Shit. Oh, so they like have like, well, there's um, you know, like document of like finding Bigfoot hairs, and there's the famous cast molding of the foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. None so of they, that shit actually <laughs> came to the <laughs> helped them come to the conclusion. That was all fake shit. Oh, so they just knew. Yeah, they just knew. Okay. And it turns out the Yeti is a, a distant cousin of the Sasquatch. It's not actually a Sasquatch that you know. It's like a distant cousin. I thought that the Yeti was a. The same as Bigfoot, just a different. It language. is. It's like it's a distant cousin. <laughs> Isn't it just a different <laughs> language? What? <laughs> like how in English we have pussy, in Spanish they have puta. Oh no, 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 no! no. Scientists, oh. as the scientists tell me, um, it actually means that. Uh, <laughs> What's it mean? That they're distant cousins. Oh, well, it could happen. They so, might have. They, you know, they were probably one big happy Bigfoot family, and then like during the Ice Age. Some of them were like, hey, let's go check out this chunk of land over here. And they yeah. walked across the ice bridge thing. And yep. 
and and then a group of them met a family after getting hit by a car <laughs> and went and lived with them at um Harry and the Hendersons. Oh, 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 I remember him. Um <clears throat> he was over a couple times. I didn't know he was a Bigfoot. I just thought he was a really tall, ugly dude with a lot of hair. Yep. Oh that, shit. That's my cousin. <laughs> my distant cousin. All right, let's seriously talk about anyway. something serious. This is fucking crazy. People aren't going to want to listen to this. All right. <laughs> I'm finding it amusing already. Let, let's go to the fucking news. To the news. All right. The local news. In Mount Pleasant, PA. State police shot and killed a 26-year-old man who detectives say slashed the trooper's head with scissors during a confrontation at East Huntington Shopping Plaza Friday. Damn. So, get this straight. Guy comes at a cop with scissors and cuts him. And then the cop retaliates by shooting the guy. What's the problem? Well, wait, the guy just came at him for no reason with scissors. Well, obviously there had to have been a reason. Well, what's the fucking reason? I don't know, I can't read that fast. So the witness said the trooper fatally shot so-and-so after he stabbed the officer with scissors when police confronting him on shoplifting allegations. So, dude was busted doing something no, he was doing. No, he fucking shoplifting, and he chopped up a cop with scissors. That's fucking crazy. Why the hell would you do that? I don't know. And, like, I guess the cop's getting, like, all this, uh, all this bad shit against him. Like, he's being sued and whatnot. And that's Did he just... kill the guy? Yeah, he killed the guy. Oh, okay. But so what? He's fucking shoplifting. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I agree. I mean, was... the, it's not even so much to do with shoplifting. If you're shoplifting, you shouldn't be shot. Maybe you should. I oh, know. I see. You're saying against it. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> fucking shoplifting, shoot him. But, like, if you attack a cop, especially with scissors, I mean, that's... Yeah, you're probably going to get shot at. No shit. You're, you're, shot. you're attacking a cop with a deadly weapon. Like, that doesn't make any damn sense at all. So, yeah, I would shoot him, too. Oh, I would shoot him. I mean, if I was a cop, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I would fucking shoot the fucker. I mean, I'm, I'm, if I was pulling, like, a citizen's arrest and shit, and he stabbed me with scissors, I would probably still shoot him. Yeah. But I probably wouldn't get all the uh, the backlash that the cop's getting just because he's a cop. And there, uh, There's, like, all this stuff going on about, like, abuse of authority and whatnot. And, yeah. You know what? Fuck that. If you stab at me, then I should be able to stab at you or shoot you. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> I fucking got him at a loss of words. I agree. There's nothing much to say. Yeah. Fucker comes at you with scissors. You should be able to shoot the fucker, right? So I think that the cop should be allowed to shoot the uh, the prosecuting now, attorney. The cops probably should have shot him in the fucking leg or something. Right? Why? Just drop him. You don't have to fucking shoot him in the face. Dude, you've shot a pistol. You know how hard it is to shoot something. Especially if it's something moving. Not if you're a cop. You're trained. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm on a cop side with this one. You know, think he should have I'm, I'm on the crazy guy <laughs> wielding the scissors side. If anything, I think the cop should have shot him in the fucking face. That's pretty brutal. He sliced his head with scissors. Yeah, but still, I mean, come on now. No, I, I disagree. I'm on the cop side. All right. Well, and I, apparently, I think I'm on the people side, too. The people have my back on this. Fuck that shoplifter. I fuck the people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying the guy's a fucking great guy, but... The cop should have fucking tried to wound him instead of fucking killing him, is all I'm saying. I mean, come on. Maybe life's, so. Life's kind of important, right? No. A little bit. <laughs> kind of important thing. I don't know. I'm disagreeing. I mean, the guy had a deadly weapon. He was going at the cop. The cop's just trying to do his job. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. Cops abuse their authority and whatnot at times, and not all cops. I mean, I know some cops are all right guys. But bottom line is, he fucking tried to kill the cop. So the cop should have killed him, and he did. I don't know. I sound like a goddamn hippie, but I don't think that the cop should have fucking <laughs> killed him. Where did he shoot him at? Did he shoot him shot in the him fucking the chest. I don't see it on this news report, but I have heard it. Shot him like seven times in the chest or something. Damn. Yeah. Maybe it was an accident. Maybe the cop didn't mean to shoot him that many times. Maybe it was just... Like, How many times did he shoot him? I think it was like seven times or something. Seven fucking times? I don't see, I don't see it in the story, but... See, okay. In this news okay. report. I, I have it now. I understand. Okay. What the cop should have done is, first of all, not gotten fucking cut up with scissors. He's a fucking cop. He's gone through training. You know? 
duck, juke, jive, fucking whatever you gotta do, <laughs> get the fuck away from those scissors, right? Well, it's probably what he was trying to do. And they have mace. Should have hit him with some mace first. You know what I mean? It's not like go around and fucking kill everybody the second you get a chance to fucking kill people. It's well, try was, to fucking stop people. He was fending for his life. The cop. The cop was. The yeah. guy was trying to stab his ass. At the end of the day, I wasn't there. I don't really know the situation. True. From, from from what I hear, the cop let himself get into a fucking shitty situation. A guy with fucking sisters. I I wish I could read because if I could read, <laughs> I could read this setting in front of me. Well, because let's put it in perspective though. Like, for instance, you're a pig, cop, layman term, whatever. You're in a store. A guy shoplifts. You catch him. You confront him on his act. That's what happened? Yeah. Okay. And the like, guy pulls out scissors and tries to carve you up like a turkey. And he did, did, did cut him. Yeah. What you, are you going to do? You know that this is real news. We're going to get in trouble if th- this it. is wrong. I don't care. <laughs> uh, um, I, so I think the cop had every right to do what he had to do. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, Mace might have been an option, but no. <laughs> I would have pulled a gun and shot him, too. I guess I can see I can see that side of it. Well, that's just my opinion. <clears throat> and what are we but a bunch of opinions? Yes, a bunch of assholes. <laughs> I don't know. I would have killed the guy. Fucking. I'd like to have that opinion myself, but I don't agree. I would have shot him in the fucking leg. See, because killing if you somebody, could have. killing somebody, people are like, "Oh man, you kill somebody, and uh, it's the worst thing ever." No, 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 no. Shooting somebody's kneecap and that blowing up, shooting him in the dick. Something like that. Not saying that, that would have been right if he did that, but, you know, sh- that, that, you have to fucking struggle through that shit. But think of the other alternative, too. Like, if he was, like, your center mass is where he shot him, like, in a chest of one lot. That's the biggest portion of the body. That's where they train you to shoot. If you're fucking pointing and clicking and shooting at their legs, I mean, there's a good possibility you're going to miss. That's true. Then you're talking bystanders. I mean, innocent if, people getting hurt. If I had a gun on me. And some motherfucker was carving me up with a fucking knife or scissors. Scissors. I would shoot the motherfucker. Yeah. Said and done, over with, he's dead. That's the end of that fucking news Okay, story. so we agree with that. Next. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is with these news stories is talk me into thinking what you think, and then we're, we'll move on. Okay. Yeah, All so, right. As soon as you agree with my point of view, which is the right point of view, <laughs> right. then we're done. Okay. Just so I understand.